The Israeli army declared the area of Tel Rameda and Al Shuada Street a closed military zone. So the people here they are not allowed to have visitors. They don't they are not allowed to have their relatives in their homes, and they are really uh, struggling to go out and in from their homes. In the heart of Tel Rameda, settlers, headed by Jewish extremist Baruch Marzel, established a settlement in 1984, which has been expanding ever since. Marzel's organization, Kach, was declared a terrorist organization by Israel. Concerns of Tel Rameda residents are far from baseless. They turned our life to a nightmare. No one is safe here. Since 1984, when Kach member Baruch Goldstein massacred 29 Muslim worshippers in Hebron's Ibrahimi Mosque, 1,800 local shops have been shuttered by the Israeli army, and many residents have left the area as Israel's settlement project advances. They, they are working to displace the Palestinians and bring settlers to live in this area. This area is uh, a target for the settlers. Rawa Abu Haikal of Tel Rameda lives in a house that is now surrounded by an archaeological site run by settlers. She is one of many local residents being stopped by soldiers and asked for her home registration papers. I went to, to, the, to, to the city. I, I always go through Tel Rameda. And, and when I uh, came back, the soldier said to me, oh, I can't let you pass, it's military zone, and your name is not on the list. I said to him, how come? Look at my ID, I live in Tarumeda. Israel has recently demanded that all local residents register as such with the civil administration. Nonetheless, many residents have refused to register with the authorities. Who is in, included in the military zone and who's not, it's not clear. Abu Haika calls upon the international community to intervene. Uh, I think it's fair enough to, to stop at least all this killing. We need to end the occupation. This is something not to think about it. Because what we are facing, it's, it's unbelievable. The order sealing Tel Rameda and Shuada Street is being renewed on a daily basis. The soldiers prevented internationals and journalists from entering the area and reporting about these illegal actions.